one of those things is their solution to how they attach this uh, filter stack, how they put that filter stack together to the clean out box, as well as how they attach it to the top housing of the dust collector. Now their solution is to screw it all together with drywall screws and then caulk the seam to prevent the fine dust from blowing out into your shop. I don't think that's a very good solution because filters are consumables. At some point this is going to be caked out and no amount of blowing air back through the filter to try to dislodge that fine dust into the clean out box is going to do it anymore. At some point I'm going to have to clean this filter out really, really good or just replace it because it is a consumable supply, especially if you're in your shop like I am every single day. So here's my solution that I came up with. So we got these threaded J bolts and at the top of the filter stack, this piece of metal is pretty rigid and there's space between the cleats. So this J bolt will hook into there like this onto that metal bracket, onto that metal rim. All right, and then we made this little metal bracket, drilled some holes in it, and this will overlap the top of that blue uh, flange. So the J bolt will go through here and hook into the top of the filter stack. And then once we tighten it down, we should be able to tighten it down uh, nice and tight to snug it up against some weather stripping. So instead of caulking, I got this uh, caulk cord. It's kind of like a plumber's putty. So it's squishy and flexible. And I think if I wrap this around the top and then squish this together with the J bolts, we should have a nice airtight seal. I shouldn't have fine particulates blowing out that crack and I won't have to use any caulk. And this guy is removable, so I can just peel it off when I want to change out the filter stack. All right, so for the bottom cleanout box, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drill a hole through here, slide the J-bolt down. This will hook onto that metal rim of the filter and tighten it down. And I'll also put that same uh, flexible putty around the, uh, the rim here. All right, I'm going to drill an oversized hole so I have some wiggle room. All right, so I'm gonna screw this bracket into place just so it doesn't move. So all they had to do was make this about an inch wider in diameter, maybe two inches with four holes so you could put a J-bolt in here. And now that I'm thinking about it even further, a toggle latch would be an even more elegant solution. I looked at ordering those and those are about a week out. So uh, I'm just gonna make these J bolts work because I need to get back to uh, making money because this little uh, adventure has cost me quite a lot of money, not just in buying this, but in my time. All right, so to hold this up against that while I attach it, I need to figure out a shim and I also need to put my putty down there. But let's measure this distance here and find some blocks of wood that I can stack up there so I can put it all on the floor and push this up against that pretty tight. All right, so I need six and a half inches. That's what she said. All right, so it's installed with the J-hooks and the putty, so we'll see if uh, this works or if I end up having to uh, caulk it like they uh, like their solution is so next we are going to move on to upgrading the barrel doing well today I just spilled coffee down the front of my shirt I'm sure you've uh, filled up a trash bag inside of a can full of sawdust and then try to pull that bag out and of course it creates a suction and it's hard to get out so to solve that I have uh, some leftover pieces of conduit that I'm just going to cut at an angle and tape to the side of the can. So when I go to pull this big, huge 55 gallon bag of sawdust out, that it breaks the suction and makes it easier to pull that heavy bag out.
All right, so when it sits on the bottom of the barrel, this way it won't be sealed off like that. It'll have room to breathe. All right, I cut it an inch down a little bit so it won't interfere with the lid. And I'm just gonna tape it in place here. All right, so now I wanna bag my sawdust so I can just set it out on the curb. I don't have a big dumpster here just to pour this barrel in and it's not gonna fit in your household trash can, especially since the start of projects. When I start a new project, I'll fill this thing probably two or three times in a single day. So I'd rather just set the bags out on the curb. Now there's one problem with that. When you attach it to this thing, when you attach it to this thing and turn it on, the dust collector creates a suction. It's gonna pull this bag up inside the cyclone. I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna build a thing to go inside here to prevent the bag from getting sucked up, but also allow me just to pull it out when it's time to change the bag. All right, before I weld this in a circle, I wanna make sure it fits in around my breathing tubes here. So see if we can curl it up here and get it in there. Try uh, with some clamps here. All right, how to get more tips for the welder. I wish these guys came in like a Pez style dispenser uh, so you can just feed them out as you go because uh, once you open this package, I got to put them in a secondary container, or they're just going to be scattered all over the shop which will probably be the latter. All right, so I ran the dust collector through its paces. I used pretty much every machine in the shop here uh, from big sawdust down all the way down to super fine sawdust from the drum sander. And the uh, insert that I put in here seems to be working out really well. There was a tear in the bag, so I don't know if that was just me tearing it as I put it in because this is a really thin uh, plastic or if the insert tore it. So I'm gonna do a little uh, testing and pay attention as I go here to see if it tears in the same spot every time. And then maybe that's a rough spot on my insert that I need uh, to address. Maybe put some uh, uh, tubing around the edges to protect it from uh, ripping the bag. Now, <clears throat> the dust collector, even though I'm, I'm dissatisfied with the build quality, uh, it is uh, sucking dust adequately. Uh, in the shop. I, I don't have a frame of reference to know if it's sucking dust better than any other dust collector because my previous dust collector was homemade, but I will say that my solution using the J hooks to attach the filter stack to the top of the unit and this bottom uh, Delima Bob uh, with the putty is working fantastic. There is no need to goop up your system with caulk. And I'm not sure how much fine dust this uh, uh, filter ran. I filled up one drum, so I'm gonna blow with my air hose uh, air into this stack uh, before I start running the next barrel to see how much dust settles down here. Cause I'm pretty sure that these guys are gonna get clogged uh, faster than you think, especially if you're like me in your shop every day. All right, so I went around with my air hose and blew through here to blow out the dust, any kind of dust that's caked on the inside of this filter. And then I let it settle to the bottom for a few minutes. So all that down there is uh, sawdust. So if you shine a light through there, that is all the fine dust. So you're still gonna have a bunch of fines in there, which reiterates my whole point about this is bad engineering to caulk this because these filters get caked pretty fast. So yes, I can blow it out with the air hose a bunch of times, but at some point, 
uh, that's not going to work very well and I'm going to have to replace it or take it down to do a uh, more thorough cleaning to, to keep the system running at optimum performance. So yeah, there you go. That, uh, I'm going to take this cap off and suck that out with the vacuum and then get back to work.